Yeah, that's right. I bought the fuck. Roll the intro. What's up, motherfuckers? I have problems. Hi guys, Dolan here, and as you can probably have freaking seen, um, I bought him. It doesn't really come as a surprise to me at all that I bought him. I bought him mainly because I wanted to. And I like this for just example reasons. You can literally pull him out of the package and take a look at them, but you can't pull them all the way out. You have to open the package from end this end, which is pretty cool. But... There's an SSC, 100% wood from well-managed forest. Um, made in Indonesia. That's new! Mattel Canada. Sold by Mattel Canada, okay. This product contains mag magnets, so and so. Uh, you can pause right there to read that if you want to. Um, should be in HD, so yeah. Um, packaging from respons uh, responsible sources. And then we've got uh, it's paper, the sleeve tray, it's cardboard, papers. Cardboard is paper, it's made from the same material. And they put Thomas's name in other languages up here and brought back the original logo. Which is cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and also, they brought back the Creed Viper like, all that stuff. And that's just, it's really nice to know that they're still, they brought this back in. I think it says 2021 is when this was made. So, they've been starting on this since last year. Yeah, because they were originally available in November. And then the ship that they were supposed to be on got caught in the mud in Chesapeake Bay. Currently, this was sold and shipped by Entertainment Earth. So, I mean, they did a wonderful job. Uh, I can't wait to- I actually want to go check out Entertainment Earth at some point. I hear they've got some really good stuff. So. Here is Thomas in all of his glory. It reminds me of the original wooden railway model that I do not have on me, but... Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Um, okay. Now, holy shit, he is something else, I'll tell you that. His dome is plastic, I don't like that. Um, he's got the wheel arch, he's got the little back, back end that uh, the original wooden railway had. Um, Adama, that's pretty cool. And then he's got these wheels. These wheels aren't bad. They work just as well on one railway track as they did before. Like, for example, like, these wheels were meant to run on the grooves of the track. They were meant to be the I love it. And he will definitely be taking a permanent spot at my desk. Um, next to the old wooden, uh, Here's the bottoms from the two, uh, the two current. Oh, those are the insides of the wheels. You can barely see it there, but they have weird insides. They're not like that. Okay. But as you can see, there's a comparison between the two bottoms of the most recent wooden railway, Thomas Wood, and how they portrayed it. 
You definitely got a, be a better look here than you do here, and it just makes it look so much better in the process. Um, the, the faces, one is 3D and one is 2D. You can always take a 3D face and put it on it. It's, it's not going to hurt to have a 3D, a 3D face. I mean, the only thing 3D about the new wooden railway face is the fact that it's more or less the more or less that the face is it's 2d the only thing that pops out is the nose as you can see there now and then you've got where you've got as is the 3d face here with the other thomas and that's all i really gotta say honestly it's this is going to be a very short review, and mainly just because I wanted to just throw it out there that also with Annie and Clarabelle, he doesn't look half bad. The old Annie and Clarabelle looks like he was made to go, I think. I will be getting the new Annie and Clarabelle when they come out, so I at least have Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle. I have plans on purchasing the rest of them too, since they are relatively a decent price. And personally, I think my next purchase might be crazy. So. With all that said and done, I really like this model. I think that it turned out really well. The wheels are, they're different, but I think the wheels work well with how the model wants to work in general. The packaging's nice, and you can easily put it up on a shelf if you wanted to. And it's everything a wooden railway model or wood. Not saying that is since I, I'm not a wooden railway model myself, which I'm not, but I, anymore. I am track faster as everybody is known me to be. And all I can say is that it's just a really brilliant model. Like, there's nothing. I I have no pet peeves. And people like to say, it's not really, it's based on the art style of All Engines Go, but it's not All Engines Go. That's the thing. It's just based on the style. And the one thing I noticed that this Thomas has that not, a, not any other wooden or other Thomas has had, was the fire block and was the firebox glow, except for the light up Thomas that had the op um, where it lit up itself. It's fucked that they have the spokes and sh they have the counterweights and the spokes and everything. I love this Thomas model. And I will not tell you it, uh, otherwise, because guess what? I have no other opinions on it. I think it's a good looking Thomas model. I like it. And just, I'm just rambling on about it at this point. It's a lovely Thomas model. I can't wait to see what they do with the other ones once I get a chance to look at the, the other ones. So once ever I get a chance to look at the other ones, I will be sure to take a look at them. And I really enjoyed reviewing this model. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And I hope to see you guys in the next one, whenever that next video is. I have plans on uploading a video on Friday, and this will... This won't be it, but... This will be the one that comes out on Saturday, when you're watching this. So, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye for now.